what's good everybody hope y'all doing well man happy new year first upload of 2021 man hopefully this year treats us a lot better than 2020 did for sure man hope you guys you know whatever goals and ambitions you got hope you guys set out to do them man and i hope you of course accomplish them i got a lot of goals man that i want to hit i got a lot of stuff i want to try out a lot of stuff i want to do so yeah man here's to another year and of course with a new year comes new seasons of anime some we've been waiting so long for them to come out some of course we're gonna watch together so yeah in this video we're gonna talk about some of them like always so guys make sure to leave a like and comment if you guys want me to continue doing this like seasonal anime review type of thing because last season you guys seem to really enjoy uh just me like talking about anime you know new anime that's coming up and what i'm gonna watch and stuff like that but, you know leave me a like and comment that really helps me gauge your interest because i like doing it and if you guys like doing it then i'm gonna continue doing it of course and just like the last seasonal anime review video i did there's a lot more anime this season than last season and i really don't want to make this video like an hour long going through all the anime that's coming out so of course you know i'm only gonna focus on the ones that like i'm for sure going to watch i'm for sure going to check out but that doesn't mean that you know if you have an anime in mind and if, and if i don't mention it feel free to leave it down in the comments i will read the comments you know i'm always looking for anime suggestions bro like if i don't mention it that does not mean i'm not going to check it out because these are this, these are just the anime that kind of caught my attention or i'm kind of like i've already been invested in you know so um yeah <laughs> so without further ado let's just get into it oh yeah i forgot about something <laughs> You guys probably saw this coming a mile away though but probably my number one anime that i am just i I'm, I'm, can't wait to get back into you already know what it is man re-zero season two part two god almighty am i excited to get back into re-zero guys you will once again i did react to the uh the first part of season two on the channel you guys seem to love that series a lot and i was super super hyped every wednesday when that came out dude like I, I, that was like that, I, that's gotta be like one of the most fun i've ever had reacting to a series of re-zero i'm so excited to come back in you know and react and watch along with you guys when part two comes out uh, i believe it comes out next week i, I believe or in a couple of days i don't even know like i'm recording this after new year's and shit like that I, I, my time is all fucked up right now but i just know it comes out in january soon but yeah re-zero season two you guys wanted me to react to like the new trailer it came out but like the thing is like i kind of saw the trailer already on twitter and there wasn't really anything shown in it like it was most likely just like it, it was mostly just like clips from the first part of season two and like just like subaru talking the raws wall and like that was it like there, there was like really nothing shown new and that's a good thing because i want to go into season two part two totally blind i want i want to see what kind of fucked up stuff they got but the thing is the funny thing is is that season two the vibe of it it seems very like triumphant it seems like subaru's gonna he's gonna win you know it seems like he's gonna overcome his stuff even like the, the cover art seems like you know he's breaking out of like the crystal and stuff like that it seems like he's gonna win so i don't know if we're in for more despair or we're gonna have some happiness in there i don't know but knowing re-zero there's probably gonna be a lot of death and you know what i'm hyped for that shit so yeah re-zero season two part two guys of course i'll be reacting to the channel um as soon as it drops as soon as it drops and i'm hyped for that so yeah on to the next one this next anime though i cannot tell you how long i have been waiting for this to come out my real ones if you know you know right now dude and that of course is the promised neverland season two i've never thought i'd be uttering those words again my guy like promised neverland where the hell did it go you know it's like it, it, i feel like when promised neverland first came out it was like the big anime like i remember like that was like the hype show that came out that year bro like it was just the, the suspense the thriller the mystery behind it and like Oh, the, don't even get me started on the motherfucking opening, though. God damn, Overworld. That shit was a banging, bro. I, okay, Promise Neverland, though. Look, I feel like it's kind of like a fever dream that I'm getting a season two, you know? It's kind of a, it, it's, it's kind of surreal in a way. Because I honestly feel like season two right now, I don't know if it's just me. I feel like it's not getting enough hype. 
you know because like i said before promise neverland was like the big show that came out like that shit had like a ton of hype around its name when that shit was airing like the first season right and i mean i do see some hype here and there i, I do see people excited for it. it's not like no one's like excited for that shit i just feel like i don't know it should be bigger you know I, it's it's the next season like finally we get to see emma ray fucking um norman you know where the wherever the fuck he is you know and, and all the kids and shit it's just like if i uh, i don't want to oh, let me not spoil anything of course but like just you know <laughs> we finally get to see it again bro now the thing about season two is that i already saw the trailer already so i kind of have an idea i guess where promise neverland season two is kind of heading it definitely seems like the tone is shifting because what i really loved about season one was more of like this like the in like the tense um suspenseful mystery situations that they get in and it definitely seems like season two is kind of shifting more to now i might be wrong on this of course now i might be wrong um it's kind of shifting to more like a survival adventure type of feel like a you know like uh, more actiony which isn't a bad thing of course like i'm i, I feel like promise neverland can exceed uh does and can um excel in that category of course but i'm just curious to see where the story kind of takes place like of course it's it's still gonna be like mi mystery suspenseful but i definitely feel like there's gonna be a lot more action scenes like you know like survival aspects you know that sort of thing but like i said my manga readers out there i might be wrong you know i'm anime only like always do so i'm not too sure but promise neverland season two that's shaping up to be hype as hell dude i'm super excited for that and if you guys of course are wondering yes i will be reacting to that on the channel man i wish i could have reacted to season one because like i said i really love that one but yes season two definitely gonna react to that on the channel bro for sure like 100 percent. now the next anime i do believe is still winter 2021 i'm pretty sure and it's actually not an anime that is about to air it's actually airing right now and that of course is attack on titan season four if you guys are watching this video and you don't know i am reacting to that right now on the channel and i am fucking loving attack on titan season four like i i i, I am just loving everything about attack on titan now like i said like i'm a huge huge attack on titan fan so i'm a little biased towards attack on titan i'm not gonna front i'm not gonna lie to y'all like i fucking love this series a lot i want it to succeed uh, I think Mappa's doing an incredible job on it. Like, yeah, like I said, I'm watching it right now. I'm loving it. Right now, we're on, like, the two-week break. Uh, I, I believe Jujutsu Kaisen is also on this two-week break right now until the next episode. So, yeah, we're waiting for episode five to air with Attack on Titan right now. And <laughs> apparently people say episode five is going to break the internet. Like, that shit's going to be, like, peak fiction, dude. And honestly, I wouldn't hold him to it. The way episode four ended, that shit looks hype as hell, dude. So, yeah. Attack on Titan Season 4, I'm reacting to that right now. If you guys don't know, check that out. But yeah, um, I'm loving that. Now, next might be a surprise to some people, but I have mentioned it kind of briefly before in the past. But an anime that I'm actually excited for, uh, for Season 2, is actually Beastars Season 2. Like, yo, I love Beastars, dude. I feel like Beastars, over time, it has gotten the credit that it deserved. But I remember when it first, like, started airing like i know the whole like furry thing the anthropomorphic animals stuff like that bro it kind of turns a lot of people away and that's a shame because b stars is fire as fuck dude like i i actually like really got into it man like it has a lot of cool themes that it tackles it has a lot of um topics and like moments that like i really enjoyed and the funny thing is right when I was first getting into it, it wasn't even like the animals, like the anthropomorphic animal thing that was kind of turning me away. It was the 3D animation. Now, look, I'm a changed man now, guys. You know, I've seen the light. I've seen the promised land, bruh. I actually really like the 3D animation. You know, I, I was one of those people that CGI 3D equal bad, you know, like I, I was closed minded. I'm like, yo, if it's not 2D, I'm not going to watch it. But I saw it on Netflix. I'm like, this looks kind of interesting, bro. And I gave it a shot. And dude, I'm so glad that I gave it a shot because Beastars turned out to be an incredible experience. I'm really hyped for season two, bro. But yeah, for the people that haven't watched Beastars, um, I would, of course, say, like, give it a try, man. Just please give it a try. You know, it, it, it doesn't make you a lesser person just because you watch a, an, like, a, like an anime with animals in it that talk or you watch, you know, 3D animation over 2D. Like, it doesn't make you any less of a person, bro. I'm telling you, watch it. And of course, like, 
if it's not for you, it's not for you. But as long as you gave it a shot. But yeah, B Star is definitely hype for that season two. Probably not gonna, definitely probably not gonna react to that. Just gonna watch that on my own time since I watched season one on my own time. But yeah, hype for that. Now this next anime, um, <laughs> um, I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I actually plan to make a separate solo vid, you know, talking about it in its entirety. Um, but the anime, of course, I'm talking about is a uh, redo of healer. If you know, you know, man. Now I haven't read the source material for it. For, for it, um, I haven't even seen the trailer yet. But there is a video that I will make on this anime in a couple of days, or maybe even fucking tomorrow I'll drop it. But uh, yeah, uh, we will talk about it extensively. I'll give you, you know, my thoughts and opinions on it because there is a lot of controversy. There's a lot of speculation already circling around this series um, because of its, uh, it's, it's very controversial, basically. It's very controversial and I'll talk about it later, but Redo of Healer, definitely on my radar. I'll keep an eye on it, guys. But yeah, <laughs> let's just, oh my God, I don't even know. <laughs> now, honestly, that really was like all the anime that like I'm for sure gonna check out. Now I'm gonna tell you guys some of the anime that like I need to either catch up on that I'm still interested in that like I need to catch up on to um, of course like enjoy it or stuff that like I might check out. And of course, um, one of them is uh, Time I Got Reincarnated to a Slime Season 2. I still need to finish Season 1. I haven't finished Season 1 yet, um, but people are really excited for that. And you know, I'm definitely gonna go check that out once I finish Season 1. Next is Dr. Stone Season 2. I know Dr. Stone on the channel, it's kind of a meme that I dropped that shit. Um, and you know, that's like no disrespect to the series at all. It was so interesting. I kind of already, I already talked about this, so I don't want to get into it. It was just, I was just juggling too many anime watching at one time. Dr. Stone just kind of fell off the wayside, but like, I'm still interested in the series and I still want to see where it goes, you know, like I'm still interested, but yeah, season two, um, definitely have to, uh, you know, finish season one, catch up to that. And the other one is seven deadly sins, uh, season four. Now. I have hopes that Seven Deadly Sins season four, or I don't know, Netflix say season five, the next season, you know, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know, I made my video talking about the last season of Seven Deadly. It's actually one of the most popular videos I had on the channel. Um, it, it, just, it was just, it was literally like a 15 minute like rant over it. And I think I cut it down to like seven minutes or some shit like that. But yeah, um, I have that so i'm curious to see hopefully i don't have to make another video talking about it but if i do i do but yo i hope for the best for seven Ellie. that's all i gotta say now a new anime that i actually just found out like maybe like a couple hours ago is called i think mushoku tensei um i saw a lot of people talking about this and it actually has like quite a bit of popularity around it it's not i don't think it's because of like the anime itself but i think it's because of the history that it has i believe it's people are say it's people say it's like the the grandfather or like the, you know the all father of isekai anime you know so and the isekai genre to me i'm not gonna lie i kind of i, I kind of like fell out of love with it you know uh, i still think like some of the best isekai shows are like konosuba and re-zero but like i don't know like an isekai show to me has to do something different bro like i've seen so many isekai shows that does the same thing and i know like some people can you know can watch it because it's, it's all fun of course like if you enjoy it like you can enjoy it but like for me i can't watch the, like the same thing like it just goes over and over and over go oh like pe person gets transported to another world they meet party members he's powerful and all that stuff so that's the reason why i like re-zero a lot and you know konosuba konosuba is more like a parody but like re-zero kind of like turns like the whole genre on its head and i really enjoy that but yeah like an isekai show really has to do something a little different and people say that this one has like a lot of development with its story so definitely something i'm probably gonna check out i will check it out but honestly guys that's really it in terms of the anime that i'm for sure gonna watch and i'm for sure gonna check out like i said i didn't want to make this video an hour long there's like so much anime this season so feel free to of course leave any anime that you think i would enjoy like i'm open to all suggestions you guys are feel free to discuss in the comments down below uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe like always guys we're trying to hit that 100,000 subscribers together and it really helps you boy out a lot um i'm excited you know i'm excited for this new season of anime dude like i said lots of bangers like like, like when i say bangers like i'm talking like bangers after bangers dude so yeah uh the reactions they finna be popping i got you guys with the new uploads as well new year dude i'm gonna try to be a lot more consistent like i'm, I'm trying my best guys 
but yeah starting off the new year strong talk about these new anime and yeah i hope you guys have a blessed new year i love y'all and uh yeah guys it's been your boy ivory and i'm out peace